Grandma's 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 Grandma's
they're a crazy crew. God knows what they're going to say and do. So just be prepared for anything. But when you hear them play, you're going to be just taken to heaven. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. So let me go get them. Any helpers out there? It's time. <laughs> Mapatize it. Get your wooden spoon. <laughs> and here, oh, hi. this is Mac Morin. Of course, you've seen Mac before. <laughs> Come on in. They're leaving me hanging here. There's and Wendy, Wendy McIsaac. Good looking And Maddie Rankin. Maddie Rankin. <laughs> <laughs> Matt McIsaac. <laughs> So you guys get an apron on. God oh, knows what can right happen now. here. Over here? Okay. We're go, we're tw twice we're going to make this today. I'm going to make mine. Max is going to make his here on the table with the uh, induction plate. And uh, we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to be over here at the stove. So I'll be taking the camera back and forth. Oh, God. I have no idea. Probably one of the kids had that, that apron. We're Maybe good. Maybe it over her red hair. Yeah. <laughs> we should be showing this on camera. I know. Okay. Sorry. Look, at, look at these fools. Look at these fools. Try to get this on. Enjoy. <laughs> 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 Put your glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what a crew. Oh, no. What a crew. Great. This is going to be great. great. This is going to be great. All right. That, that, the, the, I'm going to close that curtain because the light is shining. <laughs> right in my glasses. Do it, Wendy. <laughs> I'm still trying to get my apron on. Don't leave it unattended. I can't Don't see where. Don't leave the children unattended. Don't leave the children unattended. Okay. Let's get started. So, Mac is going to be at this station, and I'll be over the stove, and I'll pull the camera here and there. We'll, we'll follow both. So, the very first thing we're going to do is wash our hands, and then we'll get we'll get going on this. Only, uh, Holly McIntosh is saying there's only 23 um, Celsius where she is over in uh, Dundee, I guess. Oh, wow. But I don't know. I think it's a lot hotter here. Yeah, things are nice here. Well, I'm at least 25. 23 is comfy. 23 is nice. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Here we are. Okay, look Set at those fellas. Nuts, a steam. Yep. Here. Get those pipe hands washed. <laughs> 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 I'm glad you're touching the bag pipes too. <laughs> How's everybody doing? We're excited to be here with Mary Janet. We all just kind of piled in here. She was getting ready and we just came in like in a big whirl whirlwind. Throw everything off. Can you see her? You can just pinch out. It's all Max's idea. Yep. No. He picked the desserts. He makes it every Friday. <laughs> I do not. He sells it at well, the farmer's market. <laughs> there we go. So, <laughs> we, like I told you, we already made this, Mac and I, and I was following, trying to do it on my propane stove, and it, the whole thing curdled. Did you, did you tell them that? I told them oh, that. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I told them that last week. Look, look, what you see is what you get. <laughs> so, but I told them how to save it, right. too. You know, yes. with the immersion blender or electric beater or an extra blender. And or you can actually... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can put a little teaspoon of cornstarch in it as well when you're beating it up. And it what brings else? it uh, to back together. Oh, okay. Yeah. So awesome. It's, Doable. Nice okay, player. so we've got the recipe. I've posted it on the website, tunesandwoodenspoons.com, and it's also on my Facebook page. So we're going to start off right away, and uh, somebody can do the measuring. Here you go, Mac. Here you yep. you get you yours. Me? Measure. You you do yours, and I'll you do you. Mine or Don't whatever. touch Mary Janet's. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm right, gonna yeah. sabotage Mary Janet's. <laughs> <laughs> So it starts with a cup of cream. Oh, don't put it on the too fast, too fast. It's going to split if you do it too fast. Split. 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 Now, a cup of cream and a cup and a half of whole milk. Mm. I'll get started on this. Uh, whole milk. I, Mac. I will take a helper at any point. Oh, you <laughs> Thank you, Mary. What do you need? A cup and a half of Whole milk. I know. <laughs> Here. Okay. 
Which one's which? Maddie's baking with Evie all the time. So I'm going to turn it down so you can see the, what, the action that's happening here. Mary Janet's winning so far. <laughs> so it calls for half a cup of sugar, but it's divided in half. So you're only going to put a quarter cup in. So that's divided for you already. Okay, you did that for me already? Yeah. Thank you. The reason I did it is because I needed the measuring spoon for mine. Okay. So, one quarter cup of white sugar. Just pour that in. Wait, right. oh. Some more. I feel like I feel like. Remember the cooking show on CBC, Walk with Yawn? Like yes. we should have sayings on her. <laughs> and just give that a little stir. And now this is the the fun part. We are going to do the vanilla bean. I hope you can see this. Oh. 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 Studio, I used to clap when you Okay, Mac. All right. Up here. So your bean we're just going to, and I mean, if you don't have a vanilla bean, you can use the real vanilla because I've done that before. And uh, but the, with the vanilla bean, you're just going to slice it all the way down, and then you're going to scrape the the paste out of it. Okay, and you're also going to put the vanilla bean, the whole shell of it, right into uh, the milk when you're pushback. Oh, <laughs> let's give a hand, everyone. <laughs> The piano. <laughs> All okay. right. And just scrape it's like it up. A surgeon. I know. Doogie Howser. <laughs> <laughs> Under the bean. 14. Surgeon? Yeah. MD. MD. Got it? Yeah. Tough old, tough old bean. bean. That was one that you brought me. Oh, this a is a couple weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, he found it at the Costco parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Mine expires in 2023, and yours is, uh, expires late in 2021. Okay, better use this up then. That's right. So time to use Nothing it. Worse than bad <laughs> bad <laughs> no bean. All right. So you basically just stir that up. Let's turn the heat on this thing. And I have to turn um, my double boiler. I am going to use double boiler. I'm using the double boiler, um, so I forgot to turn the bottom on so that the water would start to get ready. And uh, so Mac is gonna be way ahead of me. Mac's using his bathroom scale. <laughs> <laughs> so Mac is going to make it in the saucepan and I'm gonna make it in the double boiler. And Mac, um, He's going to use the spoon method. You know, use the back of the spoon to uh, when you're almost done, and you can make a, a little swipe on the bottom of the spoon. And if it doesn't fill in, it means that it's ready. So it's very sensitive. But for this part, we're just bringing it to a, um, almost a boil. And for me, I'm going to be using my thermometer. And when it gets to 180, is when it will be scalded and ready to go, and we'll remove from the heat and let it sit for 20 minutes. And uh, there's a couple of things that I'll be doing, and but they're gonna give some music at that time. Whee! So, you have got it going? I guess so, I, yes, I think P. Are you supposed to put the whole vanilla in there? Yeah, no. you put the whole bean in so wow. that, uh, and it will heat up, and then you then we're, we're gonna put it in a sieve right here. Don't eat it. So he's way ahead of me. I use, Hi uh, everybody. The bean afterwards, you can rinse it off, and then yeah. I just make simple syrup with it. Like so, you just put it in simple syrup and leave it in your fridge, and then you've got vanilla syrup. You can use the same Ooh, pot again. For your, so for say your that pearls. loudly. Say that loudly. So if you're making simple syrup, if you like to have you know that in a cocktail or whatever, you can take the vanilla bean that you used from this and just rinse it off with water. Make sure it's nice. There's no cream left on it, and you can use it again. Like if you're making the simple syrup, put the vanilla pot in, and then leave it in the container that you made the syrup in, and you get some. So what what do you mean by simple syrup? So for some cocktails, they they make a, a syrup that's equal parts sugar and water, and you okay. reduce that. Well, or your hummingbirds could have yes. simple syrup, vanilla flavor. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I had a good drink of hummingbird water one morning. Oh, you did? Oh, really? So By I, accident? I thought it was apple juice. <laughs> Stop it. I did. Yeah. Hummingbird water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, is it just 
after one of your runs? No, no, I was at my grandparents' place in Glencoe. Oh, and okay. Walking around going just, this all the time. I had a headache, so I took a Tylenol, and then I had a big swig of <gasps> hummingbird water. Brutal. Yeah. And it's one cup of sugar to three I'm, cups of water. The yeah. recipe that I follow yeah. for my hummingbirds, and they're always fighting out there. I was moving really quickly that day. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have any questions for these fine folks? Let's see. Simple syrup. Great idea. Marie McLean Giles is saying. There. Wait, what? Who's Mac? Mac, you're way ahead of me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, not, that's, that's never the case. I should have wrote it down. I have to keep notes for everything. And one of them would have been, turn the double boiler on. <laughs> okay. We should have been on that. Yeah, we could have yeah. had yeah. that. Just talk you can blame your sous chefs here. <laughs> the sous, yeah, the help the sous chefs in the back. So, your sour chefs. Let me see. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> Almost there. So good. So to refresh the, the recipe, a cup of heavy cream. And I'm using the whipping cream, which is 35% fat. I suppose you could use coffee cream in it too, mm -hmm. whatever. I think we used coffee cream yeah. one time, but whipping cream is uh, the, better. the better, the more fat, the, fat, fat. the better, of Just course. Just like Grandma said. Yep. And that's why we're such a good band. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and one and a half cups of whole milk, but I mean, you could use 2% if you had to. Uh, and this, at this portion, we're going to just use uh, a quarter cup of sugar and the vanilla bean. Oh, so, uh, is it? So we're going to simmer this over uh, the double boiler for two to three minutes. So I think it's just about boiling, so I'm going to take you over here. Just to, it's not allowed to boil. Put your glasses in it. It's not allowed to boil. Ooh, smell it. smells pretty good. It smells delicious. Here now. It's just about boiling. Now the thing is, I just... I just want to be certain because when we made it the last time, I really made a mess of it. I don't know if you can see in there. So what I'm I'm using my thermometer here, and when it gets to um, 180, that is when it's that's the scalding uh, point. So this is going to take two to three minutes. Mac is beating me to it. This is becoming a competition. No! <laughs> no competition. <laughs> so, uh, who, who can I get here to, to, to do this? Okay, and you could just continue to stir it. Okay. And we're going to watch the temperature go up, hopefully to 180 at some point. Okay. So just keep it from getting too cooked and on so the bottom. This is windy. Hi. <laughs> Anything to do with food, we're in. That's awesome. We are in. Here, Jen, how many episodes have you done? Do you know? Actually, I do know. I do know. I have a spreadsheet. Mary Jen is organized. <laughs> spreadsheet. I have a spreadsheet because I was losing sight of who I was having on the show. And episode schedule. So today is the 72nd. Ooh, wow. Oh, hey. 72. Congratulations. 72. That's cool. Yeah, it started in, in March. Yeah. With your cinnamon, cinnamon rolls, rolls, right? Was that the cinnamon first? rolls? Great. Who knew? Under the wow. O. 72. <laughs> Any bubbles yet, Mac? Not yet around the sides. Oh. Just looking. It's hard to tell with a little vanilla flakes in there. I know. It's I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you over to see Max. He's doing it in his saucepan. Just waiting to see the little bubbles forming along the side. What a pro doing it without a thermometer. <gasps> don't be saying that. That's the time. So what do you want to see? Bubbles? Just little bubbles along the side, but you don't want it to boil heavily. You just want it to kind of be on the, just on the cusp. Side. You're doing good, Mac. Never let them see you sweat. Let's see if you're sweating. <laughs> <laughs> we just need somebody screaming at us in the kitchen now. Yeah. To be like one of those crazy reality TV Master shows. Chef. Oh. Gordon Ramsay's kitchen. There. 
So, Mac, when you make this, what do you serve it over? Usually berries. Berries. <laughs> steak. Yeah, it would be good. But, I mean, you could do it over anything, like a, like a, just a plain, like a brownie or... A, I mean, it's you could just eat it out of the dish. That's normally what I end up doing. Any <laughs> leftovers, I just you know I don't even take the time to make it fancy. I just go in with a spoon and dive just, in. Just me there anyway. So, well, there you go. Yep, it's good. You're hearing it from the best. Uh, Angeline Beaton is saying Max sounds like he knows what he's doing. Oh. Impressive. Oh gosh, <laughs> I fake it. Well. Okay, let's see how Wendy is doing on the stir. What? Is, is it is the heat coming up there? 137, yeah. 138. Okay, we're good. Matt's we're doing, doing a really great job holding the thermometer. Yeah, well, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not doing your face. <laughs> Hold it better. Get in there. <laughs> is it? Just there we go. Let's see. That's what it is. Anne Rankin, for, I think she's in Windsor, Ontario, from, from Mabu. She said, good aunt. work, you guys. That's your aunt. You guys are so supportive. Hey, Maddie. I'm making something that's not nachos. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody said it'd be great over mincemeat. Ooh. And somebody else saying, Trace yeah. McGuire saying, I recognize Wendy from Celtic Heart of North America. Oh, and it's wonderful over Christmas pudding. Lots of suggestions here. You're good in Captain Crunch, too. I think we're going to win. I think so. We're coming up fast. What? Oh, somebody's asked me, what kind of thermometer? You're really going to ask me where I got my thermometer? Guess what? Pampered Chef. <laughs> Tammy sells Pampered Chef. And of course, my house is full of Pampered Chef stuff. And if I need anything, I usually go, go to her. 75, 76. Are we stopping at 180? Is that yeah. We're stopping at 180. Stick right. your thermometer in after. Sure. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. You guys are on your own. 79, 80. 79, 80. Yeah. All right. All right. Should I take it right off? Yeah, take, take it. This one or just, the just the top one? one? Yep. And I turned it off. And now we're going back. <laughs> oh, you're done? I'll see what yours is at. Just for fun. Thank you. Ooh, 192. Ooh, 192. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just it's it's interesting. interesting. Yeah. Right? We just waited till we saw some little bubbles happening. and Okay. Just, like just going to sit for 20 okay. minutes. I'm going to set the timer. So, when this is off, there's no heat on there now. I can nope. put this back on. Nope. Okay, perfect. Things you can actually cool. touch it with your on. hand. Wow. Really? Okay, so if we could really quickly do the eggs. Eggs, yep. And um, so you can make sure and try to get. Oh, do you know <laughs> what uh, calaisai is? Is that that little thing? That little That's that little mucousy membrane that attaches the yolk to the white. Uh, so we're going to try to not, not get that in. But I mean, if you do, and try to get as little meringue in, in uh, uh, as part of the, of the, the white? egg white. Yeah. Maddie can have that part. No, thank you. <laughs> No. So I'm going to do this, and we take six eggs. Do you know what? I picked I picked my eggs up this morning from our next door neighbor, our farmer. It's going to be a game. We're going to see who does the egg separating the best. Okay. Do not break the egg yolk. So we're going to watch Matt over there. Uh oh. If I lose, it's your fault. No, I just have like. One half is super small, so it's good. Maybe do you want to do one too? I heard a water bottle works good. No, I hate it. Oh, really? Did you ever try this? Yes. I actually have I have an egg separator yeah. that I do not use. You don't use. I just keep doing it the old way. There you go. Is that going here? Yep. That little kale kalezai. I'm not even sure I'm saying it right. I, I actually looked it up how to pronounce it. 
in there. Oh, up here? Yes. All right. We're putting all these in. Yes, we. We're yes. using six eggs. All right. And you can use your egg whites uh, and just make scrambled eggs, and that's good too. Who said they didn't like eggs? Maddie? Maddie. God, I could live. I wish I liked them, but I just haven't them since I was a baby. Did you have a... a, a, a traumatic experience? Yeah. <laughs> traumatic egg experience. Daniel tried to... A traumatic egg experience? Traumatic egg uh, experience? <laughs> she always exaggerates, though. Uh, <laughs> Wendy, did you want to do some eggs, too? You guys are doing really well. Yeah. We know. <laughs> I just lost an egg yolk here. Uh-oh. Oh, One down. It's all right. Recovered. And one left. All right. Oop. Remember watching Tony Danza on um, <laughs> Who's the Boss? boss breaking the eggs with one hand and the crowd was cheering. It was hilarious. <laughs> Oh, Are you all set? Oh, she's quick. Look at that. <laughs> and you're going to add a, a quarter cup of sugar to that. And yours is already measured out. Thank you. So here you go, Maddie. You're going to get over yeah. here and use these eggs. Okie dokie. And I'm going to put a quarter cup of sugar in there. And she's going to whisk it up with this. With that little whisker. Squish, 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 Oops. Betty was good friends with my Aunt Bessie. Oh, I Aww. bet. Yes. In Boston. They're, they're in Boston. Boston crowd. And actually, Betty Farrell's uh, daughter is married to Cecil Sinise. No. Oh. No. No. Daughter is married to Cecil's nephew. <laughs> Michael, right Be Michael Beaton from Marble oh. Harbor. There you go. Yeah. So they're whisking the six egg yolks with the half, the quarter cup of sugar, and we're just going to set that aside until. Um, Is there a time limit for the whisking, or what? No, we we're we're going to we're going to visit them again uh, when the twenty minutes is up. Okay. And uh, I'm going to put you to work, and you guys are going to go out there and uh, play some tunes. Give us a tune, and I'll let you know when the time is up, <laughs> and then the magic happens. Cool. I'm mixing this so up just so the skin doesn't form on the yes. top. Yes. Yeah. Good plan. You want me to do this one? I actually will. Um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a cover on it. My wrist hurts. <laughs> 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 Sounds like that kid off the of bird Yeah, I know. What's his name? What uh, uh, Ralph. Ralph Wiggins. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think they're whisked enough. I think we need some tunes. Okay. Tunes? Here we go. We just leave everything on the table. You. We you got it. it. Yeah. I'm going to take you out on the deck. And because Matt plays the pipes, uh, it's better if we do it outside. You can adjust. Okay. See if I can get everybody closer together. You may have to, yeah. Yeah. Pull yeah. her back for. I'm good. Please, why are you there, Mary Janet? Oh, sorry, sorry dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's all right. Okay, can... There's everybody. There he is. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Bioluk. Lively youth. What's the, the, <laughs> the interpretation of it in Gaelic? And uh, they've Lively. been together for about 20 years. We'll give you a little more, more information on their CDs and their Facebook page and their website. I'm sure they've got all of that. And uh, they're going to take it away for a little bit. I'm just going to go in the kitchen. And I promise you, I don't have my mic. Anyway, take it away. Yeah, and it's sure. Yep.
close. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that? Do you have that already on a, a, a CD or a recording? Yeah, we do. Of course. First track off of the All Hands CD. Okay, that's the one I have downloaded then. Yeah. That's how good I am. <laughs> but anyway, tell them uh, your issue. Is it Biolic Music on Facebook? Yeah. Uh, yes, that's what it is. Biolic they're, Music. They're Biolic, Biolic Music on, on Facebook mm -hmm. and, and Biolic.ca on uh, that's right. website. website. Yeah. And of course, somebody already mentioned, I think Holly McIntosh mentioned uh, about Wendy's show, which is uh, Cape Breton Island, the Celtic Heart of North America, which is an amazing, amazing thing you started there. Yeah, I just turned something into just a little bit of work for myself into a lot, a lot of work. Of work. <laughs> <laughs> and now everybody's got all these expectations. Of yeah, you. it's been a lot of fun, though. It's been nice, especially during COVID, to be able to talk to people and, you yeah. know, and just kind of talk about the old, like, it's such an easy thing because I know everybody who personally I'm interviewing, so it's really just yeah. a conversation. Which is really oh, I, I, I've enjoyed many of them. It's, it's incredible. Like, I, I'm sure uh, some of you know, and these are all professional musicians individually and let alone together as a group. So what happened 20 years ago? You were jamming at the Celtic Colors Festival? Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, near the end of the night. Um, at the at the Celtic Colors Festival, and they wanted a closing bunch of musicians to close off the end of the night. So uh, they rounded up a bunch of ragtag rag muffins. <laughs> and, uh, at that point of the night, too. Yeah, I think they found a couple of us under a table at one point. And they were like, Come on, we got to play some tunes. And she's like, oh, okay. And we got off stage, and we were like, wow, that was fun. And it kind of got the ball rolling from that point on. There was some interest. Um, and it was kind of the right time because the Barry McNeils and the Rankins had been touring and Natalie and Ashley doing their thing, but there wasn't really like a next group coming up coming. underneath it. Yeah. So who knew 20 some years later would oh still be playing? Yeah. So, and, and the only person that's come and gone has been Patrick. He's, and, he's a daddy and a yeah. little kids now. Yeah. And, 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 and Ryan. 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 And, and Ryan. Ryan. Oh, yeah. right. And Matt Fold's gone. Jeez. Matt Fold's gone. Oh my God, yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah. Jeez, Joseph? Joseph, I yeah, think. Yeah. 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 So Matt and Mac, for anybody, Mac is from Troy, Troy but yeah. lives in Port Hawkesbury. You know, yeah. Wendy's from Craignish, but lives in Halifax. Mm -hmm. Maddie is from Mabu. And where do you you're living in Halifax now? Moving to Dartmouth tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tonight, actually, a little bit. So I got a race here. And oh, my God. Uh, my daughter, right. Krista, lives there. That's right. Oh, that's she great. She lives there. Yeah. And Matt is from St. Peter's. Peter's. Yeah. yeah. But you Ontario, live yeah. in, in Ontario. Yeah. We're lucky to have him here. Okay. <laughs> well, listen, there's about five minutes left in that cooling down. Would you give her again cool for a little bit? Yeah. And sure. then and then we'll do the final part. And uh, then we'll maybe have a little taste test. And then whatever you guys want to play after that. That's is, my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll let you at it. Thanks, Mary Janet. You're welcome. I'm stirring yours. Okay, thank you. Stress days? She's in sabotaging yeah. mine. We're just going to play a bunch of stress bays and reels like we do. Okay. Yeah. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. But good. I have to remember to get into that reel. <laughs> yes, I will try to. Yeah.
Fremonglaise. Fremonglaise. Follow us into <laughs> the house. <laughs> there now. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, my goodness. But we're going to have, we're going to have tea, too. I hope you all like tea. We all Love like tea. tea. Oh, yeah. So this is the, when the magic happens, and it only takes about three minutes, right? So I actually remember to put my, uh, my double boiler on. I have the tea. The tea is brewing. Good. Okay, so one one day on the show, I said, okay, I'll go set the tea. Did you guys ever hear of that expression before? Set the tea? Set the tea. I don't know. Set the tea. I'm going to rub my teeth in have, have you ever heard that? Set the tea. Yeah. Mac, have you? Um, set the tea. Never. We always said that at home. Yeah. And what that meant is, putting your tea bags in the teapot, and then putting it on really low heat, and leaving it for five minutes, and that was called setting oh, the tea. Mm. Just has to come to that perfect per oh, place, you right know? Right color, yep. The right and color. The right color. It can't be boiled. boiled. Unless you're at the Graham's and Judic, and then they just boil it until there's oh my nothing gosh. left of the tea bag. <laughs> oh my God. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Merge Graham's. Merge? Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Oh, Mordor oil is in Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put some water in. Take the, uh, the tea bags out of Everybody likes their tea a certain way. Yeah. Grandma, Grandma I like to put my milk in second. Well, oh. oh, see, no. I'm oh. Kidding. oh. I'm kidding. No. So, okay. she, Grandma knew. Yeah. Yeah. Put it in second. Yeah. She knew. So, have you, yeah. heard, you heard Miff and Tiff? Right? Myth. The term Miff? No, tell And us. Tiff? Miff is milk in first. And Tiff is tea in first. <laughs> do you like it, Miff or Tiff? I like that. I like it. Yeah. So, do you like it? Oh, milk at first. For Myth. Sure. Myth. Yeah. Myth. Just black for me. Just black. I don't drink tea enough to make the call, but in my coffee, I definitely want my cream first. So I'll just go the okay. same. Okay. Mm -hmm. So would you rather? I have green tree, green tea. No, I'll have. To, I'm gonna have tea your regular tea. Okay. Sweets. All right. So this is the part where um, I got this already. So we have to. Are you nervous, we Matt? Have to we have to temper the yeah, eggs be. because we don't want to cook the eggs. Exactly. Correct? No. Exactly. Can I put that on your table? <laughs> yes, you can. Okay. Lord, there's been lots on my table. So here we're going to show you so this. So this has warmed down. It's still pretty warm after 20 minutes, but we're going to slowly introduce it into the eggs. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah, <laughs> now, at some point... Uh, the, the last couple of times I made it, I took the vanilla bean itself out at this point. I leave it in and just straighten it out. And, and we're going we're, we're gonna to do it in max way today, where we're going to strain it at the end. At the end. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're doing it that way. Okay. So I'm going to <laughs> temper the eggs by adding the liquid. And you're looking for the I, eggs to become kind of look. It's all good. It's fine. It's still good. It's still really good. I haven't that. done it. Do you want to it's going to be in in Four. this here, but I don't have like it's going to be it's going to be the other way exactly. It's so you're really going to add <laughs> about two thirds <laughs> of the milk mixture into the eggs. Just read in the. I can see one from here. What are you looking for? Like a ladle? It's full of milk. Do you no, want me to pour uh, the that? ladle? Like Wait, a, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, I see. So that's oh, really oh, lukewarm. That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like a doctor's surgery. And this now I'm going to add the egg mixture into the rest of the this milk mixture. This is what mixture. I was supposed to do. Go closer. Why am I it down because you're spilling yuck everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. Are they going to have like, a book for Mac or book for Mary? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, we can put a poll yeah. up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can do that. Whose is going to be better, Mac's Mary or mine? Jan, it's Mary Jane. It's hands down. <laughs> See, Mac is working furiously at tempering his eggs. Very <laughs> fine job. Just, temper, just tempering your eggs. Be yeah. it. Be it. <laughs> 
I have such a supportive set of bandmates. Oh, do you know what this reminds me of? The day that, well, yeah, but the day that uh, Jimmy Inch and Jason oh, Price were that. here. That was funny. Oh yeah. There were some moments that I was I had to leave from the front of the camera, and I was over there, like, doubled over. Yeah. They were, they were. Jimmy's a riot. There now. You can see. You can just Wendy. Look at Wendy and Maddie. <laughs> so fast forward. These are, not, these are not going to curl. So the thing is, uh, okay, I am going. <laughs> you're really doing a good job there. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and on my side and. Uh, <laughs> it's going to go to town. Yeah. I am going to Should take you over to the stove. <laughs> and. <laughs> I'll take you over here. And we've got my double boiler all ready to go here. So this is the very dangerous point where it can curdle. <laughs> and if it curdles, we can fix it. But I am going to put the thermometer in until it reaches... Uh, well, I don't know what I put in the recipe, 175 or even 180. Let me just check. 180, I think. Uh, did I put 180 in there? Oh, uh, that was the top one. Yeah, and 180 down here, too. So, let's have a look. I'll turn turn this on. All right. So, constant stirring, kind of in a figure eight, so that you're not... Uh, so, do, do we want to have Matt and Maddie do this part? Uh, sure. Yeah. And I'll watch. Yeah, Maddie doing something. <laughs> sure, I will. Okay. I'll be your stirrer. Okay. Extraordinaire. So, okay. we're... Figure eights. Not figure sevens, anybody. <laughs> figure nine. So, we can see. So, we're at 145 degrees so far. Yep. Hey, Matt, yeah. do you want to come over here? And no, no, not Mac, oh. Matt. Yes. And be helpful and you for watch, a yeah. No, you can watch the, th the thermometer, and when it gets to 180, we're going to remove it from the heat. Now, I am going to uh, talk to you guys about something I did in the meantime. While they were off playing, I made an ice bath, because once this reaches 180, you don't want it to cook any longer, and so... Over here, I'll show you what I have. I did one for Mac and one for myself. I have, I filled this bowl half full with ice and a little bit of water, and I put this bowl in it, and I have my sieve all ready. And as soon as that reaches 180 over there, mm -hmm. I am going to put it through the strainer, and we'll get the vanilla bean and any other little things, maybe the Kalei, Kalei, or whatever <laughs> that <laughs> is. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and we'll, we'll put it in here and we're going to leave it here until it reaches, you know, we're done then and the rest is up to you. But I have some that's already done. It's really hard to be serious with this crew. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Look, look. <laughs> Are you close? Yeah. How close are you? This close. Mac made a laugh yesterday so big and loud that everybody at the Route 19 restaurant stopped what they were doing and looked over at him. <laughs> oh my god. What was it about? Oh, who knows. Okay. How is it going, Mac? Uh, it's going good. It's going good. So I can see some steam coming up here. I just don't want it to curdle, of course. So I left a spoon there for you to do your spoon test because okay. you're going to do that. For those it, that don't have a thermometer. Or even like along the, if you've got a, a decent ladle where the, the, you can actually swipe your finger that way too, like a wooden spoon or. Yeah. Yeah. Here. You tell me, I've got a great wooden spoon here. This, Need it? Uh, yeah, this is, this. oh, that would be a great one too. Yeah. Okay, I'll Or, or I have a, a, a stainless steel one. No, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Thank you. Okay. Seven. <gasps> oh. It keeps going down. It keeps like hovering around. It's okay. slowly creeping it's up It's haunting here. us with its eggy goodness. <laughs> 78. You won't even notice it as eggs anymore it now. It better not. 
Make sure you're the stirring the bottom. Yeah, because really. I can feel that slimy stuff Chew moving around. Down. I mean, delicious, silky bottom. <laughs> Maddie doesn't like eggs. <laughs> Great dessert, uh, Mac. <gasps> so close. Ah, hurry up. Let me see. 179. One. That's the famous 180. Blank and patience. We're 180? Okay. Take it off the heat. There we go. And Before Matt, we... you're yep. going to just let me do this. And you're going to pour it into the sieve. Okay. We don't want it to curdle. Just and you slowly. can see, yep, that's right. great. Okay. Keep going. Yep. It's also good the ice bath for the hot flashes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not at that point, Wendy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so there we got our vanilla bean and any other little extras that we don't hey, want in there. Birds. Round of applause. Yay. Hey, you know, I'm doing good. Just kind of so let's watch Matt. No. Let's all watch Matt. No. Shoot this over it's here. Take so a little while yet. I'm not there yet. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of judges. Lots Is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? For curiosity, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the, the temperature. temperature. I know mine. I usually go a little longer because I like it just a little uh, less runny. Yeah. Take so. Take her. You're not there. Yeah, you're at one around 172. Fancy thermometers. When we were do doing this, yeah, it was at that point. It just Clumped separated, separated. Mm. and made scrambled eggs, basically. Oh. Not not really, but fine, fine little. It's so frustrating to go through all of that work. I know, and, and then, then that, that to ha we fail. And thank God he knew how to save it. <laughs> Meg did an exorcism. Because <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really get very thick. No. I, I, because there's no real thickener in it other than the eggs themselves, and it's the egg yolks, and it's usually the egg whites that would make it, you know, it'd be leavening. So it's probably. really kind of a. Just a sauce. It's neat though, telling people how to fix it too, so you don't always get those in the cooking show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your mm -hmm. your because you thought, well, I can't serve this, right? right. Yeah. After doing all of that. Did you ever have anything completely fall apart? On, your on show? the show, not really, but the I came close. Yeah, and you were like, it was really, really hot last summer, and Chris really wanted me to make her carrot cake. Yeah, and she makes a really nice carrot cake, and I, the mistake I made, I didn't slice the the mound off each layer. I just put them on top of the other. It was a hot, hot day. It just and it was, so when I was icing it, it was steaming <laughs> this way, <laughs> and that way, and this way, and that way. It was sliding. And as if that wasn't enough, while I was in the middle of it, and I'm thinking, oh, a squirrel came up onto the screen of my window. <laughs> and, and, and I was like, he was going to try to get in some way. Oh, my Lord. Are you done? I'm getting close, yeah. So see how it's leaving a bit of a track? See how, yep. like, under... Yeah. That's that's kind of usually my... I'm just curious. I want to yep. know what... You, you, because oh, you're saying that, I want to know what the, the uh, your actual temperature What's is. the track record? <laughs> see how it's leaving that track? That's usually when I'm feeling like it's close. We're going down. 167, 169, yeah. 71... It's great to try new things. Like, I would have never, not in my thing to do something fancy like this. So I was kind of excited to do it. Oh, that's Mac. Mac, Mac, Mac Craving Glaze Warren. So I'm anxious for you to just do the spoon thing when you think it's ready. I usually, yeah, you guys are going to be here a long time. Maybe you guys should go talk amongst yourselves for a bit. <laughs> Just run to the it store up. because it's a holiday tomorrow, and if you don't have any liquor, oh, that's or right. Tunes you're gonna be out. <laughs> so poor Mac is under scrutiny here. We use uh, Tetley tea. Well, um, 
I, I don't I missed that whole thread of conversation, but anyway, I'm a King Cole girl. I used to be a red rose girl, but they changed the amount of tea they actually put in the little bags and then I, I liked a, a stronger tea and that's what King Cole is and it's Atlantic Canada, so I love that. So there now. I think a lot of tea partners turn to King Cole. I, I'd say it was so. always red rose. For years. Else, yeah. Do you remember? Bag can bag. you si can you sing the 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 uh, jingle for, which for Red one? Rose, where the little monkeys were in the ad? No. Way back. Uh, oh, King Cole My tea with the red 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 rose. <laughs> 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 and it was something like that. I sure. remember you get the little porcelain. Uh, yes, the, the little characters. And yeah. Little, yeah. They were cute. They were. Got a whole bunch of those from Grandma because she was a Red Roser and we were a King Cole Cole family, so. I'm closer. just going to check this. I think we're getting close. I said that five minutes ago. 180, 181. Oh, you're such a rebel. Six. Oh, you're pushing it back. We're now 171. Back 170, 168. I think it's just because, like, I'm... It, it, the thermometer's cooling as I yeah. next beside it. Yeah. Read some more comments. Can. Okay, yeah. I can't find that here, but I like Typhoon tea. Ooh. Debbie Musselman is saying. Huh. What's the stuff? The PG tips. That's the one. Yeah, that's a um, and then there's Just looking for any comments. I found King Cole in Calgary and sent it to Vancouver Island from my mother. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tanya uh, Holland. Lexina McIsaac LeBlanc is watching. Hi, Lexina. Well, there now. And we're waiting. We're Patient waiting for Patient Max Patient to... Uh, Orange Pico is the best. And Wilma Rostero is saying, oh, my God, no one wa knows what I'm talking about when I talk about the monkeys doing something. Uh, <laughs> so you know about red, 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 red rose. <laughs> 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 and how do I fix it if it curdles? If it curdles, just remove it from the heat and uh, use an immersion blender or your own regular blender. And you can actually, before you start mixing it, add a teaspoon of cornstarch flour. And uh, you just have to pulse it through like that, and it'll be absolutely fine. Yep, totally fine. Did we, we just did the, without the extra cornstarch and flour, did we? We did it. We just used the blender, because I didn't know about that at the time. Mm -hmm. Beverly McDonald, hello. Deborah Ward, I sent Red Rose to my sister in California. My brother lives in Michigan, and he has King Cole tea shipped to his house, and he takes all of the chow off the shelves in the store around here and gets it shipped to Michigan. <laughs> okay. Oh, here. I'm scared it'll bake. What are you, like, not, I'm not being smart, but what are you waiting for? It's just a consistency thing. I just It's usually just a little thicker before I take it off the... I know I'm waiting longer probably than I have to. She's trying to make Maddie to, mad because she's trying to get to Halifax. <laughs> <laughs> just another 45 minutes or so. Don't Should be to fine. today? Yeah, in an hour. It's only 10 minutes away. <laughs> Mac is playing at the Red Shoe this afternoon with Ian McDougall. This will be for Ian's first... Official gig, I think, Aww. since he's been ho moved home. And wh where do, uh, where is he living? They're still in Foot Cape, but okay. I think they're 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 still kind of figuring out where they want to be because okay. his wife is a doctor, and so they're going to be. Um, oh yes, I knew that. I she forgot. Probably has to be. All these musicians marrying doctors. I know. I know. What happened to ours? Yeah. <laughs> I married a carpenter. Hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, Glenn. Yeah, that's right. So this, the finger test, I'm just, I think it's getting close to that. Like all I was, you know, and I, like I said, I'm sure it's like could have, could have been done earlier, but just because I feel like the consistency is a little less runny. So just when you do that and it doesn't fill in. Yes. You know, that kind of, but I mean, I don't know if that's, my hands are clean by the way. Yes. And I, won't just show, I, I won't show me licking my finger now. Uh, Did you read my sign? No. I lick the spoon. Ah. <laughs> Are you supposed to wash it? <laughs> <laughs> so we have a couple of shows next week. If anybody's yes. in Halifax. Okay, um, Halifax people, let's listen to the news here. 
Yeah, Thursday night, the 5th, is a show in Halifax at the stage at St. Andrews, which is a church at the corner of Spring Garden and Roby. Yes, I know exactly where it is. Yeah, yeah. And I think they're getting pretty low on tickets there, so if you were wanting to come, you might want to grab it. That's awesome. Then we're in Lunenburg the day after, but that concert is sold out. Wow. But you can come to St. Peter's mm, at the Peter's. Inn on the Lakes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. So oh, that's yeah, a beautiful be place. Yeah. So is it dinner and a show or is it just a show? Well, you buy the show and dinner separate, but it's, yeah. it would be good to come for dinner for sure. Yeah. They have yeah. really good food. It is good food there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, I'm trying to think of the name of the guy. Wendy? Wendy? Yeah, Wendy. 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 Yeah, that's Wendy. 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 Yeah. So that's next um, Saturday. Yeah. Seven. Gosh. Yeah. And that's then right. on the 22nd. We're doing the Tunes uh, on the Trails. Tunes on the Trails. Yeah. For, it's like almost like a Granville Green reincarnated oh. just because you can't have that many people in a big Yes, yes, yes. So and where, where is that? It's the walking trails in Port Hawkesbury. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's so, a really neat idea, actually. So you, you can explain it better, right? Well, this, uh, they just have like, um, they're going to have like set amount of people going each time. And they have oh. three stages, I think, set up. Yeah, so you get to walk by, hear the musicians for 20 minutes. Yeah, I think so. 25 minutes and then move on to the next one. That is awesome. And at the end of it, they're going to have food trucks. Oh, nice. Of course. And may, I don't know if it's licensed. Are they, were they thinking of a licensed area too for oh, those who know. wanted? I thought they had talked about that, but may not be at this point. So there you go. I think I'm going to just, I'm going to pull the plug on this regardless. Yeah. Well, or just, I know Maddie. What happens if you put the heat up? I just don't want to cook the eggs. It's good, man. Yeah. Yeah. Holy. So <laughs> <laughs> one more minute. Let's do one more minute. What else? Anybody have any questions out there for us? Maybe that. Yeah. Are we allowed to do that? Questions for Viola. Any questions for Viola? Gosh, I can't see Matt. There he is. Matt, get in there. Holly, maybe Hello. he said chai tea. I don't know. That's. They they're a great group. They talk to one oh, another, fun. and I I love that. So. There's 371 watching Ooh. at this point. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Hi, everybody. Diane yeah. Melanson, Norma McLeod. I'm going to ask Matt about his pipes. <laughs> Where did you get right your pipes? <clears throat> My pipes are made by Hamish Moore. Oh, Hamish. Yeah. Yeah. Hamish. Hamish, Hamish, Hamish. It takes like five years, I think, to get one of his yeah, sets or... It, uh, it's, he's still doing it a little bit part time, but Finn is doing. Finn's doing most of it. Most of it, right? So, yeah. yeah, they're great. I know great. Joe McMaster told me that he just got a, a set of Hamish pipes. Hamish pipes. Hamish wow. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. And he's gonna try to really stick to playing some Good pipe stuff. music. Yeah. So Matt's pipes are tuned to the key of A, A440, mm -hmm. but because most pipes are B flat or B maybe flat sharp. <laughs> which is kind of um, tricky when you're playing all the other instruments because you have to tune up if you're playing the fiddle, and then Mac would have to play in okay. B flat on the piano, which is it's, he's really good at it. But for someone like me who plays the piano once in a while, it's a little trickier. So it's nice to have the, uh, the pipes in, in yeah. A. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, modern modern bagpipes have kind of just kind of gone up and up and up and sharper and sharper over the years so now they're closer to B than they are at B flat. Okay. Um, so it's like in between two keys in the piano. And yeah. Because we're always <laughs> playing by ourselves. <laughs> 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 we're always playing with other other pipers and drummers and stuff. But when you play with um, the concert pitch instruments then it's great to have the, the set in A so you don't have to, so these guys don't have to do anything. It's so hard to tune your fiddle up that high. Yeah. Because yeah, you can oh. snap a string or yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stop it there. Yeah, that's done. That's good. That's beautiful. Yours yeah. is looking better than mine. Well done, Mac. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, Very thank nice. you. Thank you so much. Way to go, Julie. So there's, here is Mac's finished product. <laughs> oh, Julia. Just a little bit over there. All right. I'll stop over there. So um, if you guys want to play an, an, another set of tunes and then when you come in we'll have tea yeah and uh, that has to cool down still, right? well i have the one i made this morning mm -hmm. and it's okay. all ready Ooh. Sweet. so this one we'll we'll have to just 
So we'll just have to let it go. I'll just pour this in. I'll let you guys. I'll be ready. Okay. So I'll take this out. Got it. Got that. And we'll pour it in. So, good in here. so I'm just going to pour this in the ice bath yeah. now and we'll be done. All right, you go right ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Mac is a perfectionist. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> in dancing, in, in uh, piano playing, and in baking. You want to do it the right way. Oh, is that okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. and, ice bath. and so what I did on mine, and I will do uh, at Max, he's going to go outside. I, uh, I put some plastic wrap right on the surface so that it, uh, it won't form that skin and that you don't want. Okay, we're going to have another bit of music from wonderful Bioluk. And I'm going to take you back outside. And after this one set of tunes, they're going to come in and they're all going to have a little taste test. Look. I like playing with an apron on because it hides my belly. Oh, it's great. It's my new, it'll be our new uh, outfits for stage. Yeah. <laughs> look, it looks like I'm like a dress. We'll get Viola aprons made. Yeah. Yeah. You should. Daddy, why don't you like sit up a little bit further because you look in the camera. I'm still bigger than you. But... <laughs> <laughs> still bigger. I'm so real. I'm Do you know who makes person. that stuff in Halifax? And he's from, he's from Port, he's from Port Hood. Yeah. Kendall McGinnis. I don't know what the name of the company, but he works uh, making. Okay t-shirts and all of that stuff and they've got a really nice little business oh, going. Oh, he's at uh, Nova. Nova. Nova Trophy. Nova Trophy. That's yeah, it. I That's got it. Made by them. Yeah. Yep. All right. We'll take it away. All right. I'll just look at the Here we go. Here we are. Oh, thanks, Mary Janet. Get ready. One. It's going to be loud. What? Two.
Oh, Hooray for Peru! All right, bring it on bring in. It on bring in. it on in. We're gonna have a little taste test. Aerial shot of the band. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, make everybody Ooh. sick. Let like make everyone sick. <laughs> Alrighty. Wow, you've got her all set up there, Mary Janet. We'll just have a little bite. There's the there's the ones cooling. It wasn't fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So why don't you guys pour your own tea the way you like it? The milk is there, spoons are there. And I will uh what would this have? Piece of butter meat. That's Burmy. Colton McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. I'll put it like this so we can see what the action in the kitchen. Dogs. I have two of them. Yeah. And, uh, I gave one to each of the children. Yeah. Two or three Christmas ago. There, Matt. They love so Say hi. They love it. So you can either pour it or you can label it on it. Yum. We'll leave that. We'll see what you guys think of that. Anyway, aren't, aren't they amazing musicians? Nice to see those Miss Brenna aprons. Oh, uh, look, Brenna makes, uh, do you know Brenna? Yeah, yes. Miss Brenna. Yeah, Miss Brenna. And uh, when I started, that's um, what apron I was wearing was one of her aprons. And then she helped me design this tunes and wooden spoons, little cup and the steam and all of that, along with my daughter Margie, they they kind of got together mm -hmm. and uh but brenna miss brenna if you go to the links on my website you will see um you'll go to her site and uh is it i love kate her i i want i want to say that but anyway if you go on the mm -hmm. link miss brenna has beautiful cape breton island uh aprons and uh i love when people support Yes, Victoria Rose has one of her uh, music. And Deborah Ward is saying amazing music. The music was amazing. Great music. I'm late just getting in from work. Great music. So everybody's loving it. So make sure you go to their Facebook page. Look up Biolac Music. And Biolac is B-E-O-L-A-C-H. And, uh, and you'll find them. And like or follow, uh, whatever you want to do. And then check out their website, which is uh, biolog.ca. And uh, also check out Wendy's, uh, the Celtic Heart of North America. Cape Breton Island, the Celtic Heart of North America. And uh, hi, Glenda Campbell. Hope you're feeling good. She's in the hospital. Okay, we're going to uh, get down here. Do you want to uh, oh, look at that? This is Callum. Wendy's uh, one of Wendy's two sons. Hi, Callum. He's, Hi. He's been just so wonderful. And there we all are. So, so well behaved and quiet. That's no, not like the horse around in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is this is um, what I made this morning, and uh, as you can see, it's still pretty. Oh my God, that tea is going to boil. Somebody, okay. uh, here, just hear it. Can you put it back on the burner. <laughs> You have to put it back on the lowest burner or, or propane stove. So, Mac, you want to bring over your dish? This is so lovely mm -hmm. and like filled. Swimming in dessert. I don't know if there's any going to be left for me. So there is the finished, <laughs> the finished product. Yay. So now the taste test. <laughs> and uh, just a little note on Wendy is having a gluten-free uh, brownie that she brought with her. I bought it at the market in Mabu. Ooh, who mm -hmm. makes that stuff there? They make suckers and jams, and that's, this was the treat of the day. 
and I forget what else. I forget the nice. name. Nice. Actually, the bag's in here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Sugar-free suckers. Nice. Mm -hmm. So. It tasted horrible. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just mooshed one. No, it's okay. Just, you just—that's great. Thank you. You know what? <laughs> Kids, <laughs> tell it like it is. <laughs> Do the pinky finger thing. Oh, yeah. okay. When you're having your tea. The brioni is amazing. It, it is. Good. Can you try it? I have a little piece so good. And you took the Keolis mug. I did. You took yeah. the Yeah. You were at Keolis. Yeah, a couple of times. And Maddie was at Keolis. That was my very first, like, uh, job. Like, ever teaching step dancing. Oh! And you had taught me all my steps. I'm Melody Cameron. And then I got hired. I was 17. Come on over to Scotland and teach, and we had a ball. You oh know, my god! So much fun. That I didn't is sleep amazing. For a week. Oh, I know. Like, I know. Yeah, we had a ball. And Mac, were you at Kellis? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So okay, just to tell you, yep. uh, Kellis is a is a festival of music and song it's and delicious. dance in South Uist, and it's usually held around the first of July every year, and. Last year was going to be their 25th anniversary, I think. Mm -hmm. And they were bringing... Uh, it was started off with Hamish Moore. It started it all off mm -hmm. there, remember? Mm -hmm. And um, then uh, it, it was I, I, I was there three or four times. And uh, just a great crew of people and a beautiful island. And actually, Maddie, the redhead, the ginger-haired girl. <laughs> slightly... Um, her so mother great. was born in North Uist. Effie, yeah, and she married to Daniel Rankin, and of course, Dan. It's, it's all of these relationships, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, Maddie is first cousin to the Rankin family that has made uh, just a wonderful name for Mabu and traveling and nationally and internationally. So it's all in the music. It really is. Wendy, how in the name of God, many musicians are in your family. Well, first cousins to Ashley McIsaac and first and cousins to Lisa. Mm -hmm. And um, Angus played fiddle as yeah. well, you know. Yeah. And, and of course, you'd be related to Cecil and to our kids, mm -hmm. too, through, through that. And then on my mom's side, there were not musicians, but there were really good dancers, the White Millers. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And Mac... Um, are you the, 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 your mother was a beautiful step dancer. I worked with his mom and uh, Mary, and she passed away a few years ago, darn cancer. Darn stuff. But uh, she was actually, I think, I like to say that she was really the first one who went over to Scotland from here and uh, step danced. Remember? Do you remember yes, that? Yes, yeah, she went over when she was uh, 15, 16, I guess. She uh, was with uh, the, the that dancing group from Mulgrave? From, or or Hoxbury, Hoxbury. Hoxbury? Mulgrave, yeah. There was, uh, yep, and what were they called? Over. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible now. I, I should have all the know. pictures of them at home. But. Yeah, they were wonderful. They did different kinds of uh, square dancing yeah. and uh, all of that, and it was beautiful. Yep. Yeah. And um, <laughs> so, anyway... I loved your mom, and uh, I know how much she was so proud of you and your dancing and your piano playing. We talked about it at work a lot. Oh, yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. We did. And this young man, he's cute, and I can just do this. <laughs> and it's okay, because I'm 69. <laughs> <laughs> Matt McIsaac it comes from a wonderful family in St. Peter's, kilt makers, mm -hmm. and your sister is really famous for her Creations yeah, and she's a designer in Halifax. Designer yeah. in Halifax and uses tartan, different kinds of tartan. Mm -hmm. What's her uh, contact? Veronica I think is her Veronica name. Veronica McIsaac. Yeah. Oh, just, it's you know, apparel? fashion shows. It's, uh, it's amazing. It is apparel. Apparel.com? I think, like, Veronica McIsaac.com works too. Okay. I think. Yeah. I think she okay, yeah. it'll probably go yeah. right there. And, and he's married to... I'm wearing Kate, Kate Quinn, yeah. Kate Quinn. And uh, just a little piece of trivia, in case there's anybody out there who loves uh, My Love, Kate Breton and Me, that song, was written by his wife's father. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Bob. Kate, Bob Quinn. Yeah. I was thinking of Tony Quinn. Bob Quinn. And I remember when Roger Whittaker mm -hmm. recorded that song. Yeah. But if you haven't heard My Love, Kate Breton, and Me, you need, you need to hear it. Yeah, beautiful. Indeed. Beautiful. And his wife is a beautiful she's, she's singer. Yeah. Amazing voice. Yeah. Anyway, 
that's my beautiful entertainment for today. Now, uh, do you think we could get one more little tune to close out? Of course, sure. Before you go on to your next gig? Sure. Can I drink time. the rest of that jug? Because <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were best. thinking that. Oh my you, god! It's you like, said I already candy. had a bowl of just. It's almost like eggnog. Like it, it has that yeah, delicious. Yeah, it does have that. Mm. Yeah, it's like and it's the <laughs> same. But it's real. I know. <laughs> you like eggs? Delicious. Delicious. Oh, man, I, I will admit, I I made this this week. I was working. I was looking after a, a lady who is um, a wonderful lady. She's going to be ninety-two, and I work with her once a month in Halifax. And so I had to uh, to make this at her place and she was very accommodating for me to do that because it didn't didn't take as long as Max. <laughs> <laughs> and she let me use her Spode uh, China and some people were mentioning that and uh, but beautiful Joyce and uh, she might be watching today. She's great, she's on her iPad and Smirch, but uh, I forget now what I was going to say. That happens. You made it. You made it there. I made, made it, it there, there because on Wednesdays back. I post the ingredients and uh, show uh, a, a bit of the product we're going to be making. Yeah, the finished product. And yeah, that's what I was going to say. So I was looking for a container to put it in, and so I found this big mug, and I put it in the mug, and I did that. You, you drank, drank it? it. I I I kept having little. <laughs> Can I do that because I told you? No, I'm just kidding. It's delicious. It's yes. delicious. The best. Oh, yeah. No, it's it's lovely. And you think you're eating, having six eggs? Oh, they were they were loving that. Okay, I know that people have to go and go to go back to Halifax or whatever. I, if you guys can just do a little something to close it off, and what when you're almost finished, I'm gonna take the camera in and say goodbye to my people, and I can still hear you playing out there. Sounds great. All man. right. Thank you, Mary Janet. Thank, Thank you, Mary Janet. It was so nice. <laughs> They're such crazy kids. They <laughs> love them. <laughs> kids, yeah. They're still kids to me. They're the same age as my own. So, our, my, our kids range in age of from thirty-five to forty-nine. Wow. Yep. God, I, and I'm I'm still there in my head. Yeah. And when when you, when I think and I'm thinking, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, Tim's gonna be fifty next year. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. No. Maybe. I remember so your proud. kids used to babysit us when mom your and dad kid. would go to the, like the teachers' conference. Oh my god! And they would always be baking, like we, <clears throat> and they'd let us bake too, so we'd make the haystacks. Yes. I remember we made a cake once, and the whole side or the middle fell out of it. But Tammy just jammed a bunch of chocolate chips and ice in the middle, <laughs> and covered it over, and we were pumped. Oh, we had pumped. That's so funny. <laughs> Anything with chocolate chips. I know. Yeah. Fix it all. That's good. Our <laughs> babysitter uh, set a fire making craft dinner one day. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that? Oh my mm -hmm. god. Incredible. Alrighty. Yeah. There you go. We'll Alright, I'll follow them outside. And uh delicious. Yeah. We'll get you. We'll follow these lovelies. Take your tea with you, absolutely.
Well, folks, that's it for another week. I don't know yet what I'm going to be making next weekend, but we'll figure it out and you'll know sometime on Wednesday. Thank you for joining me once again. I just love Viola. Please download their music if you can. They're on, I know they're on iTunes because I've downloaded two of their CDs from there once, once upon a time. And I think there's maybe three on there. Anyway, uh, and if you're in the Halifax area, I hope you get to see them. But uh, anyway, thank you once again. Hope you give this uh, a try. I love you. Love one another. And uh, just, you just so much matter to me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Um, hey, hi, it's me, Charlie. Um, if, if you like Grandma's, Grandma's video, video to make sure, sure to, to, to give it a like and subscribe. Give it a like and subscribe.